The 120 kilowatt chemical looping installation at Vienna University of Technology. The proposed European strategy to meet the challenge of future energy supply is based, among others like renewables, on efficient fossil fuel utilization and subsequent capture and sequestration of the greenhouse gas CO2. The idea of carbon capture and storage is to deposit concentrated CO2 in safe geological storages in carbon capture and storage is to deposit concentrated CO2 in safe geological storages instead of uncontrolled emission to the atmosphere. Several projects are currently run worldwide to demonstrate the feasibility of carbon sequestration and long-term stability of storages. On the other hand, research is going on to find cost-effective measures to obtain pure CO2 from power stations. The Research Group for Zero Emission Energy Technology at Vienna University of Technology is active in this field. The main problem with state-of-the-art carbon capture technologies is the additional energy effort for separation of carbon dioxide during or after the combustion process. Chemical looping combustion is such a new indirect combustion process with inherent separation of CO2. The technology uses metal oxide particles for selective oxygen transport from combustion air to fuel. CO2 is obtained in a separate stream without any gas separation needed. In the so-called fuel reactor, a hydrocarbon fuel is oxidized by oxygen released from the bed material. This step takes place in a fluidized bed at temperatures between 750 and 950 degrees Celsius. In the so-called air reactor, the bed material is re-oxidized with air. The sum of heat released in air and fuel reactor is equal to the heat release of direct combustion. In distinction to other technologies, no energy penalty arises for obtaining concentrated CO2. Heat is withdrawn from the system with the hot exhaust gas streams. For common excess air ratios around 1.2, additional heat must be withdrawn directly from the reactors in order to keep the operating temperatures. This can be done either by cooling the reactor walls or by cooling the circulating bed material stream. In practice, the extent in which fuel oxidation happens in the fuel reactor depends on the availability of oxygen and on the kinetics of the elementary gas-solid reactions. If less oxygen is provided than needed for full oxidation, the chemical looping system operates in chemical looping reforming mode. In this case, the fuel reactor exhaust contains at least the combustible species CO and H2 besides CO2 and H2O and the global heat release is decreased. Chemical looping combustion has initially been proposed in 1968 to increase the efficiency of combustion-based energy conversion. Nothing but a paper concept until then, it has been rediscovered around the year 2000 and is currently discussed as one of the most promising carbon capture technologies. Within an international consortium of research institutions and companies, Vienna University of Technology is responsible for the investigation of reactor systems. The main challenge with such chemical looping systems is the requirement of excellent gas-solids contact in both reactors in order to achieve satisfactory fuel conversion. Because there is a certain risk of gas bypass in bubbling fluidized bed reactors, a new concept has been proposed combining two circulating fluidized bed reactors in a novel way. The system has been designed in Vienna for a fuel power of 120 kilowatt with natural gas as fuel. In a first step, the fluid dynamics of the system have been studied using a scaled cold flow model. 